Alright, so uh, now it's time to etch the board. Uh, we just put a hole in the corner there and I'm dangling it by this nylon. Um, and I'm just going to dunk it in there and start agitating it. Uh, this is a mix of hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide. Um, I can't seem to get ferric chloride uh, here in New Zealand. Um, so if anyone knows where to get it, please let me know. Um, the whole reason for using the toner hybrid method is because this acid is too aggressive um, for the Epsom ink. Uh, if I was using ferric chloride, I could probably get away with baking the Epsom pigment ink onto the board and uh, using that as an etch resist. But um, yeah, this stuff's pretty aggressive. I'll give you a link. Um, which will show you the, uh, the recipe for making this stuff. Um, although it does get pretty uh, technical on the chemistry side of things, um, and I don't fully understand it, but um, yeah, this is, this is my mix. It's probably pretty rough, but it seems to do the job. Um, I guess the key is you don't want it to be too aggressive, that it's going to destroy your tracks and the toner and all, but you also don't want it to be uh, so light that you have to leave it in so long that it ends up eating, eat, under eating your tracks and uh, etching away underneath them. So it's a fine balancing act achieved through trial and error, at least in my case. So uh, I'm just going to jostle that around there for a while. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully the uh, stuff's going to start coming off. Alright, so the board's starting to, starting to clear up now. You start to see it on the corners, it's coming away. So once it starts, it tends to, tends to go fairly quickly and you don't want to over etch it. Um, if there's some very small areas that just don't seem to budge, don't leave it in the acid for, for ages trying to get those areas up, areas up. You can always clean those little specks off with uh, sandpaper or something sharp to scrap them away. So you can see the, uh, the edges there are starting to go. Uh, it's too hard to tell you whether this is going to be a good itch or not. But. And this is where you can get into trouble where you're trying to get rid of an area when the rest of it's already etched. So that's it, that's done. Now I'm going to go and rinse this off pretty quickly. Alright, and there we have it. One etched board. You can only really see that, but I'll put some some high res shots anyway. A uh, few areas that aren't perfect, but all in all, it's quite usable. So that is the itch. Okay. Well, now with the uh, the hard bit out of the way. That is the uh, printing and etching. We've got our nice little board there. And one of the cool things about using the inkjet um, is that we can now put a fancy silk screen on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, so again we're just going to give this side a wipe down just so it's nice and clean. Uh, if you got a new toner on the back of this and then you baked it on uh, during your uh, your initial bake, you can clean it off with a bit of um, steel wool, very fine steel wool or um, wet and dry 1200 or something like that and you can get it back to a nice clean surface like that. Alright, so let's make sure we get the uh, get it all aligned properly. Um, if you print it, it doesn't line up, you just have to 
wiped the whole board off again with maths and, uh, and start over. Um, once you do get it to line up, um, then again we bake it on with the, uh, with the toaster maker. And you'd be surprised once it's baked on, it's actually really, uh, really quite strong and it doesn't really scratch, so it gives a nice professional finish. Okay, so this is attempt one. Okay, well, after about five attempts, I finally got the uh, silk screen to line up. So I'm now baking it again in the toasting machine to bake the uh, ink onto the board. Once this is done, the, uh, the ink will be really durable on the board and we'll have a lot of nice uh, labels. mounts on. Uh, top tips for using the inkjet slash toner hybrid method. Um, one is the print has been cut for the hacksaw through here and through here. Uh, there's a couple of washers that are used as spacers just to raise it up and also there's a spacer bracket screwed on here. Um, I should have some close-up stills uh, on the post which you can, um, which you can take a look at. Um, what else do you need to keep in mind? Um, when you're printing the board, it's important to keep it really hot. Well, not really hot, just at least warm when it's going through the printer. Um, it means A, the ink doesn't uh, flow around so much. And it also means that the board stays extremely dry. When the toner goes on, you don't want there to be any moisture or humidity on the board because it stops you from blowing away the excess toner. Um, and then of course if you can't lower the tone you can't bake it and etch it. So really good to keep it warm both when you're doing this side and also when you're doing the still screen. Uh, it just keeps the keeps uh, the ink in one place as well. Um, what else? Uh, yeah I guess that's about it. If you've got any questions um, post them in the comments and yeah hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh, I should have uh, some more stuff up and you'll actually get to see what this board's going to be. Thanks for watching.